What's good with y'all Scorpios? This is Scorpionic Sag, North Node Rise, and Tarot. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe, and if you want to donate, they have a link in the description box below. What I'm going to be doing in this read is to help y'all uh, with y'all love life through the rest of the week to see what's coming towards you or what's going on in your work life, etc. Excuse me, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Finally got the video quality to where it's clean. I just, you, you know what I do? I do Facebook Lives and I go back and I download it and then I upload it because doing it like this, bro, would take forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to upload my videos to where it can upload fast. You know what I'm saying? I do indeed have an Aries moon, so I'm very impatient. But I figured I'd try this for once, you know? I tried it before, but it takes forever, bro. Who's coming towards you for the rest of this week? What to expect in your love life for the rest of this week? Go ahead and give it two more shuffles. This is probably going to be a really quick read, y'all. Really quick reading. That's what I mean. Who do we have for my Scorpios for the rest of this week? For your love life and your work life. Had the two of wands. Somebody could be at a long distance from you. Oh shit, Scarps. I threw down that wheel of fortune. I see you being connected to your intuition. That's good. You need to connect to your intuition. Okay? That's your guide, okay? Y'all got to remember that, okay? When you when you feel stressed out, Scarps, when you get inside your head, okay? I'm going to give y'all a little advice before I get into this read, okay? When you get inside your head, you got to understand something. The logic and emotion will both mix together sometimes and throw you all off balance, okay? Trust me, I know how deep y'all minds really go because I'm a Scorpio myself, okay? I'm a Scorpio Stellium, just like I said in my other videos, I'm a Scorpio Stellium, so I know how it could be. What you have to realize is that when you get lost in a train of logic or emotion and it starts merging together to where it mixes together like that, it will bring you into a never ending dimensional dark reality, if that makes any sense. OK, but y'all, Scorpio, y'all can make things that don't make sense make sense if you get what I'm saying. Oh, um, when it comes to using your intuition, OK. That is what will bring you that light to the situation. That's what will bring you that clarity, what you will feel in your chest area. You see what I'm saying? Intuition comes through as an inner voice. You can hear it within your chest area, too. It sounds weird. It's not heard with the physical ears. It's heard with the inner voice, if y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying, though. You will feel that shit in your chest area. It'll be like a peaceful feeling, okay? Now, when it's a bad, uh, like when it's a sinking feeling, that's when it's a bad, okay? Something bad is about to happen or it is happening or something's not right with somebody, okay? Or something's not right with a situation when you feel that sinking feeling like that, okay? And y'all already know, I'm sure y'all already aware of that, okay? But intuition will come through as this peaceful feeling right here. You will hear that voice and right after that, you will feel that peaceful feeling as confirmation. That's what your intuition, okay? I see you being connected to your intuition. As far as forward movement for your love life, I really don't see it this week. I'm going to just be real with y'all. I see you mainly focusing on yourself. Um, I see, I do indeed see you coming out your head, okay, from all this mental conflict. Um, I see you not overworking yourself. Since this is in reverse, I see you not overworking yourself. I'm going to mix in the love and, and the work life all together, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it separate. I'm going to just mix it all together. That way I can make a short video because I know it's going to take forever to upload. Think about going to get the 5G, man. Get the 5G network. That way the videos can upload like that. I know that sounds fucking crazy, but I'm just an impatient type of individual. You know what I'm saying? When, I, when I'm on my purpose, bro, I want to get shit done quick as possible. You know, get the uploads out there, get the videos out there, you know. That way I can move on to the next. But uh, anyways, uh, I, I really don't see no forward movement uh, this week, Scarps. But I do see good karma coming your way. Okay, good luck coming your way. Let that card soak in y'all consciousness, okay, y'all subconscious. Let that soak, okay. 
Y'all been needing this, Scarps. Okay? Y'all been needing that. I could give a shit less about me. Look, this is about y'all, all right? I know I'm a Scorpio. This is about y'all. Take this card in. Okay? Let it register. Y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve that will of fortune. Okay? I know y'all been through hell, bro. I feel it through the energy. You know what I'm saying? I could connect with a lot of Scorpios through telepathy. Not meaning I know what exactly what y'all going through. I just feel that intense energy. You know what I'm saying? You I'm telling y'all, Scorpios, y'all deserve that, bro. Y'all deserve that good fortune. But as far as your love life, uh, Scorpio, I don't see it uh, uh, really uh, getting off the ground this week or anything coming in this week. There's a possibility maybe in two weeks from now you would probably hear something or something would just start moving forward. But I wouldn't even focus on that. I would just focus on your work life, okay? If y'all want if y'all want my direct honesty, focus on that money. Okay, just don't overwork yourself. Alright? If you feel like you're putting in too much work and it's just draining you, that means that you're overworking yourself. Alright. This card right here in reverse can mean that don't don't put in something, don't put in work in this, don't put work into something that is not meant to be, okay? When it comes to a relationship, that's probably why the cards are aligned in the way they are right now. But the way I look at this is try not to overwork yourself, okay? Take it easy. Get you some rest. Um, and connect with yourself. Connect with your intuition, Get to know yourself a little better. But I do see you coming out of this nine of swords. Okay, coming out your head. Mental conflict. You're not fulfilled right now. You don't have your wish fulfillment right now. And that's okay. Because the way the universe works, the way the universe, that energy operates, it'll come when it's meant to come. When you force things against the universe, guess what's going to happen? That's when the universe will force itself against you. If you try to force yourself through a door and try to beat it down as if you're the police, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to beat that door down like that. Hey, bro, let me in. Let me in this door. Let me in this house. You know what I'm saying? That possessive energy just, just gets a hold to you. Not meaning that it's with a relationship, but any situation it is out there that you really want, but yet nothing is working. It's because it's not the time. All right. You're just going to waste your energy. You're going to waste your time. And that right there is going to be a lesson in itself, which I see y'all probably learn that throughout these death and rebirth, rebirth and stages. Okay. The Scorpio is all about transformation, death and rebirth, death and rebirth, death and rebirth. Spiritually, you know. But I don't see any forward movement uh, this week, Scorpio, the rest of this week, Scorps, uh, when it comes to your love life. Uh, th this don't have to go for all the Scorps out there. Just take it how it resonates. But I do see good fortune coming your way, okay? Things are starting to move in your favor. The will is starting to spin in your favor. You're becoming connected to your intuition. You're taking things a little bit slower, Okay? You're having a little bit slower approach to things, like not quick like that. You're learning how to just lay back and chill. That's another energy that I'm getting from this. Um, but as far as your work life goes, you got that good fortune coming your way. You could be coming into a lot of money. I'm telling y'all, let that shit manifest. Let that good fortune manifest. Take a good look at it. Let that fortune manifest. I would say the hell, look, if y'all want my blunt honesty, I would say the hell with love right now. Focus on that work, bro. Focus on that work because I'm going to tell you something right now. Your passions, if you have a gift that's something out there, you think that's going to betray you? Let's say if you're your own boss, even if you're not your own boss, you still have a passion at something. Y'all see what I'm saying? You still have a passion at something. That passion will never leave you, bro. That passion will always be with you. Whether you're a female, whether you're a male, it don't matter. You're a Scorpio, you're a Scorpio. You got a, a rising moon, Venus, 
uh, North Node Rising. I really don't speak for them because they're not the original Scorpio. But I'm just saying, though, from a Scorpio's perspective, it could resonate with them because they do have some of the energy, but they're not a full-blooded Scorpio like we are. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm going to speak for the Scorpios out there, the True Blood Scorpios, that's born between the dates of October 23rd to November 22nd. But yeah, Scorps, uh, I really don't see any far movement as far as your love life, but as far as your work life, you got that good fortune coming your way. Okay? Just don't overwork yourself. And the universe will turn in your favor because that's what it's doing. Y'all take it easy out there. Much love to everybody. Peace out.